Hi, Nisa. How are you? Hi, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. It's great to see you again. Great to see you. So, I see here that you're in for an um, annual examination. Are there any specific concerns you would like to address or just a regular checkup? Just a regular checkup. Okay. So, I'm going to go through a questionnaire just to update your medical history. Okay. Can you please confirm your last name? It's A S M R. Okay. Your date of birth? It's October 19th, 1980. Okay. Okay. When was your, the first day of your last period? Do you remember? about two weeks ago. Two weeks. Do you have monthly regular periods? Yeah. Okay. How how long do they last? It could be anywhere from four days to six days. Okay. And how often are they? Is that 28 days? Um, typically they're typically. pretty. Mm -hmm. Do you remember what age you had your first period? I believe I was 16. Okay. Okay, would you classify them as mild, heavy, um, or moderate? Just moderate. Okay. Yeah, nothing crazy. And do you get cramps usually? Yeah. Yeah. Are they severe? First two days. Yeah. First two days. Okay. I'm going to order some blood work just to make sure there's nothing that could be causing those cramps to be um, worse than they should. Okay. Do you have any known allergies to any medication? No. Are you currently on birth control? No. Okay. Are you sexually active? No. No. Okay. Have you ever been sexually active yes. in the past? Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you been testing tested for STDs in the past? Yep. Has have you ever been positive for any of them? No. Okay. Do you use any tobacco products, either vaping or cigarettes? No. Have you ever smoked or vaped in the past? No. No. Okay, any alcohol? Not regularly, no. Okay. Do you socially drink sometimes? Once in a while, but not oh, really. Okay. okay, any recreational drug use? No. no. Okay. Okay, do you, uh, have you recently experienced any changes on the discharge or odor? No. No, nothing it's that you've noticed. Mm -mm. Been pretty consistent. Okay. Okay, so that's great. I'll be updating this on your file. I just have a couple more questions. Do you have any history of diabetes in your family? No. No? Okay. Thyroid? No. Problems? No? Okay. Any high blood pressure? Yes. Okay. Any history of breast cancer? In distant family? Some family, okay. Do you do your uh, monthly examination, breast examination usually? No. 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 Okay, so that's, I'll show you today what work you should be looking for, but you should really be doing that monthly. Okay. So I'm going to be giving you a gown for you to change into. And okay, I'm gonna be giving you the scone to change into. You can leave the opening towards the front, okay? Okay. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking your vitals first. Do 
do want to let you know if at any point you feel uncomfortable during the examination, please let me know. Okay. We can always take a break or readjust how we're doing things. Okay, I'm going to place the option on. Can you cross your legs, please? Thank you. Okay, we're going to be placing this on your finger. Try this one more time to, to not read properly. Okay. Temperature was 98.3. Oxygen 98. Heart rate 73. I'll take this off. Okay, it seems to be reading now. Okay, very good. It's 105 over 72. It's normal. Um, palpating your lymph nodes. Okay, you can just go ahead and relax. I'm going to start with the lymph nodes under your face. Okay. Your regular lymph nodes are normal. Okay. Post irregular lymph nodes are not Inflamed eye there. Okay, moving on to the submandibular. And submental lymph nodes. Okay. Just gonna go down the neck. Unbuttoning the first button of the rope. Just one check. Left now it's along the clavicle. Okay. And go ahead and shrug your shoulders for me. Go ahead and swallow for me. Okay, one more time. Okay. Taking a look at your thyroid. Making sure I do not notice it being enlarged. Just 
gonna be listening to your heart. Your heart sounds normal. I can hear only it's one, it's two, no, it's three, no, it's four. I do notice a little bit of a rash on your chest. Is that new or have you had that for a while? I'm not sure, it might be new. I'm okay. Yeah, there's a little bit of red bumps. I'm gonna take a, look, a closer look at that. Yeah, it does look like some irritation on the skin. Have you used any new products recently on your skin? I did get a new moisturizer. Okay, so maybe it could be something in there. It just looks like little acne breakouts, so I can just take a, we'll keep monitoring that, and if you need a referral, I can send you to a dermatologist, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to be listening to your lungs. Okay. Can you go ahead and take a deep breath? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Exhale. Okay. I'm going to be placing this on your back. Okay, take a deep breath. Exhale. Okay, one more time. Okay. Okay, that sounds really normal. So, now I'm going to have you lay down. I'm going to do a pelvic exam, okay? Okay, okay so now I'm going to be opening the gown to uncover the abdomen. Okay. start palpating very lightly. I just want to make sure there are no tender areas. Have you had any abdominal pain besides just regular menstrual cramps? No. Okay. Okay. Can you be listening to your abdomen? Make sure everything sounds normal. Everything sounds normal. There are no scars. 
scars. Have you ever had any surgeries? Okay, okay I'm just going to be palpating a little bit deeper. I just want to make sure the ovaries are not enlarged. And the rest of the abdomen just feels soft, just normal. Okay, I'm going to be tapping on your abdomen lightly, just looking for any signs of enlarged organs. Is there any pain at all? Great. Okay. Okay, okay so this looks normal. I'm going to be doing the breast examination for that. I'm going to have you sit back up on the bed, okay? Okay, Nisa, so I'm going to be uncovering your breasts, okay? Just expect my touch. Okay, so I'm going to start with having you put your arm on your head, just like that, and start examining the armpit area. Just make sure there are no lumps. So this is what you're going to be doing monthly when you're examining make sure that you're not forgetting the armpits as well okay looks good okay so now i'm going to be palpating the breast okay just feeling for any lumps any pain at all? No? Okay, so now I'm going to have you place your hand right there on the hip. And we examine one more time. Sometimes a change of posture can uncover some lumps that we couldn't feel otherwise. So. Okay, so now I'm going to be checking the other side. Yeah, so you can go ahead and... Okay. So I'm starting again at the armpit. Any pain? No. Okay. I don't feel any swelling. I'm going to be palpating the breast. Okay, the side. Okay, I'll go ahead and place your hand on the hip. Good. Okay, and I'm just having a look, making sure that the appearance of them is normal. They're normal 
So it's pretty even, so that's great. I'm just gonna be clipping this back. And I'm gonna ask you to lay down. We're gonna do the vaginal exam, okay? Okay. You can press your, uh, your head this way. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking first just a visual examination. You can just go ahead and relax. Okay. Okay, there's no signs of any lesions. Everything looks normal. Okay, I'm gonna be palpating just externally, making sure there's no lumps, inflammation. If there is any pain at all, please let me know. Okay looks normal okay I'm gonna be taking a few samples just to test for any infections and then we'll do a pap smear as well scoot towards me a little bit. Okay. I'm just gonna be lifting this tiny bit. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna feel the speculum is gonna be a little bit cold. Just gonna okay. Take a couple more swabs, just externally. Okay. 
Okay, Nisa, so I'm gonna let you get dressed and then we can discuss the results, okay? Okay, Nisa, so I'm going to wait for those samples to come back and you'll be seeing the results on your online account. They'll, they will show up in there if, if everything is normal. I'm still going to look at them and I might just send you a message saying everything looks good. There's no need to come back anytime soon. If there is something, um, I would give you a call and we can discuss if you need to come in, if there's further testing or whatever it is, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, I am going to give you also, well, I'm going to ask you to and go get a blood draw and as soon as we get the results for that, I'll also take a look at them and let you know if there's anything we need to address. Okay. Sounds good. Do you have any questions, concerns? No, not no? really. Thank okay. you. Okay. Well, it was so nice meeting you and um, yeah, if nothing else comes up, I'll see you in a year. Okay. okay. Sounds good. Thank see you. you. Good to meet you.